on guns. Um, should someone who's a drug user be able to possess a firearm? I'm not going to get into uh, tit for tat uh, on this. I'm, I'm just not going to. I'm not talking about that. The White House dodging questions yesterday about a new legal strategy Hunter Biden's attorneys might use. The embattled first son will reportedly cite his Second Amendment right if charged with breaking a federal gun law prohibi prohibiting drug users from applying for firearm permits. This is, of course, his, as his father continues to push for stricter gun laws on law abiding citizens. So, here to react, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Greg, great to see you this morning. Good to see you guys. Um, I, I mean, look, I guess we shouldn't be shocked, you know? I mean, it's always whatever laws for thee but not for me or whatever works best for one's own self-interest, especially when it comes to the Bidens. Yeah, well, you know, Joe famously said nobody F's with a Biden. <laughs> uh, and I think that's Hunter's attitude yeah. here is, I'm go I mean, the irony should be lost on no one. Here is a president who wants to restrict uh, weapons and his son wants to loosen uh, the laws by taking advantage of the Second Amendment as his defense to a potential uh, gun unlawful weapons charge. The thing is, even if, and I, I wouldn't handicap his success on this, even if he is able to avoid the unlawful possession charge, that doesn't absolve him from lying on a federal form. Right. You know, which yeah. can get you up to five years behind bars. So, so lying, on a, lying on a federal form, meaning you said you're not someone who uses drugs. Right. However, here's an excerpt from Hunter Biden's memoir, Beautiful Things, from 2021. I was smoking crack every 15 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so something doesn't jive. And he's on tape. He has a book on tape. So we actually have his voice saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, there are thousands of photographs. And some of them, you know, he's smoking crack. And so, look, it's the law has been on the books for 55 years. It is well established. And it says if you are an abuser of uh, or addicted to a controlled substance, you're not allowed to have a, a firearm. And, you know, look, that's eminently reasonable, isn't it? It's self-evident. Yeah. We don't want crackheads running around brandishing guns. Um, and the Supreme Court has consistently held in all the major cases, Heller and then a year ago in Bruin, that reasonable restrictions on the Second Amendment don't infringe on the right to bear arms. And for example, sensitive places, government buildings, schools, felons. Um, so, you know, I, again, I don't think he's going to succeed on this. We'll wait and see. Well, we'll see. I mean, this guy's brazen. He's the same person who says, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to court to say I'm too poor to pay for my own child's child support. And he flew there on a private jet. I mean, yeah. this is the kind of person we're talking about someone who's so used to getting away with everything, but on a scale, I mean, you've been studying and, and writing about everything that's happened um, with the Biden family, the corruption, um, everything that's happening. This is pretty small compared to what we're now seeing. Oh, it with, truly is. With the uh, bribery schemes and everything else. Violations of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, conspiracy, bribery, fairer violations. I mean, it makes a gun possession charge look frivolous mm -hmm. in comparison. Mm -hmm. And look, the investigation is approaching almost six years. How is it possible, despite the plethora of evidence on his laptop alone, that no charges have been brought? Yeah. The answer to me seems to be the Department of Justice and the FBI are running a report. Protection of racket. Mm -hmm. Of course they are. Biden is his last name, and that's what you need to know. By the way, uh, Greg, you got a great new book out called The Trial of the Century about the 1925 Scopes Monkey Trial. Yes. Folks should check it out. Yeah, free speech was at stake. It was a pivotal moment in America. We were either going to get rid of the First Amendment and engage, or, or engage in whole, wholesale censorship. And, you know, the great Clarence Darrow, who's always been my idol, the finest trial lawyer who ever lived, came to the rescue of a young 25-year-old school teacher. And he decimated on cross-examination his longtime nemesis, William Jennings Bryan, who was so broken, he laid down for a nap and never woke up. Gosh, wow. wow. Story. Incredible story. The trial of the century. Thank you, Greg. Good Thanks, to see Greg. you guys. Great Thanks. Stuff. All right.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.